Seems like an appropriate name when you're in a cemetery. Hey everybody, Cashew here. Today's adventure takes us to Indianapolis, Indiana. As you can see behind me, we're at the grave of the famous bank robber, John Dillinger. Our story starts here. Before I start telling you about Dillinger and his career, let me show you a few nuances of his grave. Due to souvenir hunters chipping away at his grave, they've had to replace his marker quite a few times. This is the base of the family marker and you can see where people have already chipped away at that. If you notice around the marker there's a slab of concrete. That's because his grave was covered with three feet of concrete to prevent grave robbers. John is buried next to his mother, Mary Ellen Lancaster Dillinger. And next to her is her husband, John, who, by Dillinger's accounts, was a very strict father who believed in sparing the rod, you spoil the child. This is the grave of John's stepmother, Lizzie. At first, Dillinger did not like her very much, and then eventually fell in love with her, and the two wound up having a relationship that lasted three years. Supposedly, Hilton Crouch is buried in this same cemetery. Crouch was a frequent partner of Dillinger's, but I haven't been able to find his grave. It's said that he was buried a few yards west of Dillinger's grave, but I haven't found it. And when I talked to the cemetery officials, they gave me a completely different location, and I couldn't find it there either. As a teenager, Dillinger was in constant trouble, everything from fighting to petty theft. In school, he was known as being a bully. He eventually quit school and started working in a machine shop. John's father was fearful that living in Indianapolis was corrupting his son, so he collected the family and moved them to Monroeville, Indiana. John's troubles led him to join the Navy, where he was Petty Officer 3rd Class. He was a machinery repairman and served on the USS Utah. A few months later, he deserted when they docked in Boston. He was eventually given a dishonorable discharge. After serving a nine and a half year prison sentence, Dillinger was paroled in 1933. Dillinger was released at the height of the Great Depression, and because he could not find employment, he returned to a life of crime. For some, Dillinger was a Robin Hood. Of course, the police did not feel that way. Dillinger's downfall began when he stole a sheriff's car. When he did that, that became a federal crime. When the FBI got involved, an agent by the name of Melvin Purvis was on the case. He was appointed by J. Edgar Hoover. Ironically, Hoover was threatened by Purvis after he gained so much popular attention. Dillinger had many relationships with women, among them Evelyn Billy Frechette. But she was not the woman who would wind up being his downfall. Rita Polly Hamilton was a teenage runaway. She met Anna Sage in Gary, Indiana, and occasionally worked as a prostitute in her brothel. Anna Sage contacted the FBI, promising to deliver Dillinger in exchange for her being able to stay in the country and not being deported to Romania. Though they made the deal, she was still deported nonetheless. On July 22, 1934, Sage, Hamilton, and Dillinger went to the Biograph Theater in Chicago. They watched the crime drama Manhattan Melodrama starring Clark Gable, Myrna Loy, and William Powell. That was the last movie Dillinger would ever see. There were four shots, but only one was fatal. That shot entered the back of his neck, severed his spinal cord, went through his brain, and out underneath his right eye. It also severed two sets of veins and arteries. Contrary to what you see in movies, Dillinger is not known to have whispered any last words. There are several copies of Dillinger's death mask, 
One can be seen at Alcatraz East in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. In addition to Dillinger, Purvis became known for leading manhunts that apprehended such notables as Babyface Nelson and Pretty Boy Floyd. Well, I hope you enjoyed going on this adventure with me to take a look at the violent life and final resting place of John Dillinger. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the subscribe button down below. Also, ring the bell icon and it will notify you when I have new videos released. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button. So until next time, this is Cashew, signing off.